Indiana Outdoors here. Going to do a quick overview of the Cabela's Pit Boss Grill. I got tired of buying gas grills. I've been through a school. I grill out year round. I burn them out. I've been through a bunch of cheap ones, commercial grade ones. It doesn't seem to matter. So of course I burned another gas grill out. I wanted to try something different. I'm also smoking meat on a master built electric grill, which is right over here. I've had uh, that for about eight or nine years, but I've also owned other master built Brinkman, Casey Masterpiece tabletop unit. Been through a bunch of those too, and that one there is on its last leg. So I wanted something that I can smoke and grill on, and I figured I'd give one of these pit bosses a try. Alright, it's been a couple minutes. You can see we're smoking. I'm going to close the lid, and we're going to start grilling. So here they are at the beginning. Nice little Italian sausages over foil. Give it maybe 20 minutes, half hour of smoke, and then we'll crank it up to about 300, three and a quarter, something like that, 350, and we're gonna grill these babies. Stay tuned. All right, we're back at you with the sausage footage. I'm gonna show you down below here my sausage. As you can see, they got another kind of color to them. They're taking on some color. They're looking good. That's what we want. I'm sure they've taken on some smoke. So now we're going to come over here. We're going to bump this baby on up. Let's see. Uh, let's set her. Let's set it at that 325-ish. Let's set her at 325 and finish grilling these things up and see how they come out. See so your smoke's picking back up, it just drops some more pellets and it's cranking up. Just a quick check back. It's been about 8 or 10 minutes since I turned the fire up and this is what they're looking like. We're starting to sweat a little bit, starting to drip a little bit. We're starting to get a little bit of grill marks going on. They're coming on, they're coming along. I'm gonna give another little while here and then I'll flip them. They should start to brown up. One little mod I did here was put a little baling wire here so I can hang up my gear on the front of the unit. Another thing I forgot to mention, just the looks of this thing, it looks kick-ass. I mean, it looks like a nice modern pit. I love the red, obviously. Um, it just looks cool sitting in the garage. I'm going to keep mine in the garage because I really want to get the most out of this grill. I don't want it sitting out in the weather, especially with the electronics on these things. I want to get as much as life as I can out of it because I really don't want to buy another one anytime soon. Here's a little update on the pellet consumption. I've had it running now, maybe a half hour. You can see it's used a little indentation there in the pellets. Not much. Like I said, I cooked on it three times already. I had to season it. Then I cooked on it twice and then this cook and I have the majority of the bag left in the bag and in the hopper there. So that was a 20 pound bag. So I'd say it's pretty, pretty efficient. On pellets, you know, and you might use more when it's in winter time. The weather here's been 90s lately, so it's good and hot. Let's get the flipping. Flip these dudes. You can see all of them 
doesn't matter really the location on the grill, they all look about the same. I'd say it cooks nice and evenly. And I wish you could smell this. It smells absolutely amazing. That wood smoke with the food is its way better than the gas grill, flavor-wise. And how evenly it cooks. Superb. Back again, looking at my sausages. Been in the house, I got tater tots in the oven, and I gotta check on the kids. Here we go. Browning up a little bit more. Take on a little more color. I might rotate them a little bit here again. I might rotate them a little bit. You gotta give your sausage a new position every now and then. You know what I'm saying? A little bit longer. Alright, we're back out here checking on them again. It's been about another five. They're looking pretty done to me. They're nice and browned up. I got some grill marks on them. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull them. Looking choice, looking choice. All right, you can see the foil. We're just gonna peel that away and pitch it, and very minimal cleanup. Now the shutdown procedure. Read your owner's manual. You're gonna shut this knob off first. It will continue to run the blower fan and continue to burn the pellets remaining in the fire bowl. If you just kill it here with the switch, the fan's not going to run, and I think the potential of a hopper auger fire uh, is there. So, knob first when you're killing it. Now I'm going to go kill those. <laughs> 